here from gmodtech.net. I'm going to be teaching you about the basics of the expression chip. Uh, well, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about variables specifically. So, if you already know this, you might want to skip over this tutorial. Uh, don't worry if you're new to it. Hopefully, by the end of these tutorials, you'll be uh, good enough with the expression chip to use it in your everyday building. So, let's go on to the analogy, not the analogy, the uh, structure of an expression chip. You can find the expression chip by going to the wire tab, uh, clicking wire control and going to chip expression and you're greeted with the following menu. Uh, the model, well that lets you select the model of the expression chip. Um, new expression, you click that when you want to create a new expression, surprisingly, and we'll be doing so very shortly. The uh, folders, uh, well they let you view example expressions as far as I'm aware, but uh, I've never really used them and the expressions down here well these list any previously written and saved expressions so you can click the name and if you go down you can click edit expression and it loads the expression for you for you to edit and change as you so desire but what we want to do is create a new one so go ahead and click the new expression button after selecting the model and you're greeted with this screen uh, it gives you the option to change the model again uh, browse expressions, if you click that it takes you back to the first menu. Uh, file name, this is the name of the file if you choose to save it. So down here, these are all the CD was the file name of this expression, etc, etc. So if I said, we'll call this uh, example add. Um, load and delete are used to load and delete any previously saved expression chips respectively and save is used to save the expression chip that you're writing now surprisingly enough. Uh, validate will check your syntax for you after you've written um, an expression chip in a bit to help you find out any problems. Right so let's go on to the label inputs and outputs. Uh, if we, I'll just write it out all to you and then I'll explain it after. So for the label you want to put something like add, the inputs, two numbers, A and B, and the outputs, um, I want to go for total. Right, so what we're going to be uh, creating today is a simple add chip that takes two numbers, adds them together and outputs a total. Uh, not very useful and very superfluous, uh, especially when you consider that you've got an add chip under the gate arithmetic, but it allows me to... Uh, give you a small example to explain variables with. So let's just go ahead and spawn this expression chip and you can see if I hover over it in the little button uh, it says expression brackets add and uh, in those brackets it displays a label so I could change the label to super monkeys and you can see it displays super monkeys in the bracket. Uh, I suggest that you keep the label to something that will help you when you look back over your build and hover over the expression chip it lets you know what the expression chip is doing um, such as add right. uh, A, B and total are what we would call variables and uh, I'll just go on to explain what variables are before I take the uh, tutorial any further so you can think of variables as little boxes that can store information for you uh, the little boxes each have a name and the name must be unique for each little box so here we have a box called A, a box called B and a box called Total. Oh, we can uh, store whatever value we wish in either of those boxes so over here quite handily we have a box labelled A, a box labelled B and a box labelled Total and you can use this as a visual representation of what's going on in the expression chip. Now say we wanted to set a to the value 2. In the expression we would write A equals 2. Okay, and that assigns the value 2 into A for us to use later. So it's the same as doing this. Taking the value 2, putting it in the variable A. A now equals 2. If we did B equals 5 in the expression chip a equals 2, B equals 5. It's the same as taking the value 5 and putting it inside our box called B. 
Now, total. What we want to do is store the 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 result of these two added together. So we can write total equals a plus b, and you can read that as total equals two because a equals two plus five because a is currently equal to five, which will equal seven. And if we look in total, ta-da! Magically, it's seven. So I hope that explained um, what variables are. And if you've got any questions, just post a comment, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, a few notes that should be added when creating inputs and outputs: uh, the name of each new variable has to begin with a capital. Uh, well, as far as I'm aware, it might not do, but generally I do as a practice and each variable must be separated by a space so for example if I wanted three inputs of A, B and C and I wrote it like that the expression chip would read that as two variables A and B, C to turn it into three I would have to put a space like so but for this example we'll only use two right inputs are much like if I spawn an add chip here uh, I'm sure you've used an add chip before and if we go to the Y tool and hover over the add chip you'll see that it goes from A to H. These are the inputs of the add chip. The inputs of the expression chip act much the same. A and B. You can see I can wire these up to anything so they could be up to a button, up to a ranger, any input you want to add together. Outputs, um, well they're exactly what they say on the tin. They output values. So if I displayed it displayed if I create a screen I can wire the a value of this screen up to the output of the expression a up to the expression now because I only had one uh, it didn't give me an option to scroll through but if I go back to the expression chip and quickly add another output such as cost separated by a space and capitalized and then I try and wire up the a value of the screen to the expression again you'll see that I get output total and output cost to choose between so it allows me to output multiple values as well as opposed to just one so if we go back to the expression I'll now write the code where well, you've seen the code we want total to equal a plus b I hope that's a uh, self-explanatory I mean it's not the most complex thing in the world so if we spawn the expression chip again and let's say well we need two values don't we so I use two buttons uh, we'll have one of like five and zero uh, best make it toggle and one of eight and two if we wire up A up to this button it doesn't matter which and B up to this button you see that A is currently set to 0 and B is set to 2 0 plus 2 is 2 if I change this to 8 the screen changes to 8 A plus B 0 plus 8 if I change A to 5 you see it changes to 13 I could change B back to 2 and it's 7 and so on um, I hope this has made sense and that you now understand what variables are uh, how to use them and name them correctly so go ahead and try following this example and uh, try creating more than one input, give them different names and just experiment and get it sorted in your head. Uh, see you in the next tutorial guys.